Hi everybody, it's Naomi here from Toki Creations with another art journal page for you today using Lindy's Gang Magicals. So here I've got Natalie May's new stencil, one of the new stencils, um, and I wanted to have uh, the butterfly in the middle. So I've just lined it up to check the sizing and then I'm just putting some book paper down with some gel medium and just adding a little bit to both the top and the bottom as well, just for balance. And then I'm adding some gesso over the top. I did, I was a little bit heavy handed there with the gesso, but um, I just grab a baby wipe and wipe it back a bit off my book paper. And then after it was dry, I just traced around that butterfly and I made up my Lindy's in to a palette and I'm painting it on with a watercolour paintbrush because I want the painterly sloshy effect and I did use a heat gun between every now and then yeah, between uh, colours just so I can get that uh, painterly effect um, and you'll see that in the close-ups. So I will link the products I used in the description, um, but most of these Magicals are from the new Magical Shakers sets, um, and the yellow is from Natalie May's Words of Wisdom set, and they're all flat Magicals except for the blue. Uh, it has a shimmer. So when using Magicals, um, particularly in these large dilutions journals you just need to make sure that it doesn't seep into the seam of the book into the middle of the book so I just have to make sure that I dab those blobs off at the edge and that's what I was doing there apologies for the hand in the way and so I dry off between a few colors but then I also make sure I mix my colors while they're still wet to get that beautiful blended effect And making sure that I put the colours that are next to each other on the colour wheel um, will make sure that I'm not getting mud. So here the blue and the yellow are making a green, which I haven't actually used a green. And I'm just continuing that around again. Okay, next I'm using uh, the paint marks, paint circle marks. I can't remember what this stencil is called. It's a Dana Wakely stencil. And I'm just popping some black gesso on over the top. My page was dry before I put the gesso on. And I'm just popping some black bigger circles there with the gesso. And next I want to start making some interest in my background. So it's a bit hard to tell in the video here, but I'm actually using an iridescent white um, through my stencil here. And that's another Dina Wakely stencil. And then this is a stencil, a Take a Chance stencil from Natalie May, which was designed by Claire Steed. And then this is my favorite little mark making stamp at the moment. Um, and it's from Funky Fossil, and I'm pretty sure it's from uh, Nineke's, uh Focus range. So I just added a few more dots there with some of another Funky Fossil stencil, and here I just created a mask by tracing that butterfly again, just so that I could pop on some oxide ink into that Dina Wakely stencil without getting it into and then the splatters without getting it into my butterfly um, and then I'm using the Midnight Rendezvous Raven um, shaker uh, sorry the spray and then the white spray as well to make some marks there
Um, and I'm just tracing on those antennas because I couldn't quite see my pencil line. Um, I go around with a ballpoint pencil and then I'm using a Stabilo and I'm just rubbing that Stabilo with my pencil to give that outline. I do go in after the video and add and activate that. And then I've add a bit of mark making pen work to finish off my page. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you back soon.